Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will. It's great having you with us here today. I'd like to begin our time together this morning by reading to you from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 to 40. Hear the word of the Lord. This is Jesus speaking, and he says, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when do we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when do we see you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it for one of the least of these my brothers, you did it unto me. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that we could be here today. We thank you, Lord, for the other opportunity of studying your word. Lord, we pray you may teach us, instruct us as we do so. May you be glorified by all we do and say. For we pray this in your name. Amen. There's a wonderful old story concerning a man by the name of Martin of Tours. Martin was a, was a Christian, and he was also a Roman soldier. The story goes that one day, a very, very cold day, Martin was walking around out in the streets. And he happened to come along a beggar. And that beggar was freezing. He was shivering in the cold. And Martin's heart went out to him. So Martin took off his tattered old Roman coat and he cut it in two. And he gave half of his Roman coat to that beggar to keep warm. Well, the story goes that later that night, Martin had a dream. And in that dream, he happened to see Jesus in heaven surrounded by his angels. And Jesus was wearing a tattered Roman soldier's coat. One of the angels said to Jesus, Lord, why are you wearing that tattered Roman soldier's coat? Who gave it to you? And Jesus responded, My servant Martin gave it to me. My friends, that's a wonderful, wonderful old story. And indeed, it's a wonderful story that echoes the truth of our morning's passage that I just read to you earlier, and Jesus' own words, uh, when he says, as you did it for one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it unto me. A powerful truth that lends the sense of the holy to all that we are to do and say, including how we are to treat others. When people hear the phrase of giving unto the Lord, Many tend to think of those tithes and offerings given to, given an offering time on a Sunday morning worship. But that's just one of many ways one can give unto the Lord. We can give unto Jesus of the kindness we show to others. We can give unto the Lord those words of encouragement that we speak on to others who are discouraged. We can give unto the Lord of those helping hands that we extend to others in need. We can even give unto the Lord of our time, of the time that we give unto others. And we can give unto our Lord of the service that we give unto others as well. The truth is, my friends, all of life is to be sacred and holy. For the believer, everything that he or she does can be a fragrant offering unto the Lord. Every action is watched, my friends, by our Lord. And he is so happy when in, and pleased when he sees us ministering unto others in his name. This being so, let us keep our eyes open for those daily opportunities of being able to serve others in Jesus' name. He will be glorified by it, and we will fulfill our purpose for which we were created. Well, that's about it from here this Wednesday morning. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you next time on Time and a Word. Until then, blessings. I'll catch you later.